There's another one that just came to me. Um, this has been, we actually passed it. It's a good bill. It's important for many reasons. But I got a phone call uh, last Saturday from a friend who was a, was, the right word, a home builder uh, in California. He, uh, he built many homes, high quality homes, was uh, deeply involved in making those homes as green as possible, large cons uh, energy conservation and solar and, and the like. He said, John, You've got to make sure that the Home Star programs that provide an incentive for homeowners to upgrade their home so that they can install uh, triple pane windows, insulation, cash, uh, the, co the cockers thing, they're really important because it gives the homeowner a chance to reduce their annual energy bill, whether it's he uh, heating in the winter or air conditioning in the summer. And he said, beside that, it's my new business. It's my new business. I'm not building homes for a while because of the, the market in the, in the area in which he was working. But he said, I'm going to existing homes and giving them a chance to um, make their homes energy efficient. I can make some money. They'll make some money. There's other programs that are out there that provide additional assist, assistance, such as tax credits. And I want to come to that in a few moments. So when that bill was on the floor, what happened? Where do you stand? Do you stand with homeowners and small businesses, such as I just described? Or are you standing for Wall Street? Well, let's find out. 93% of the Republicans on this floor voted against the Home Star Energy Program. I don't get it. I don't get it. We're saving energy, helping us consume less energy, giving people an opportunity to work, and homeowners an opportunity to reduce their energy bill. I don't know what that means in, in, uh, in Ohio, but I do know what it means in California. It's a chance for a small contractor to change his business model and to move in a direction that's good for him, good for the homeowner, and good for America. I believe, I believe that we've seen examples of this back in my district in Ohio also. We've seen a roofing company that we just visited last week, and they've come up with a new type of roof that is a green roof that actually has vegetation growing on it. Not only keeps the inside of the building cooler, but it's much more pleasant to look at. And the, another option they had was a white roof instead of a second, and I was amazed at how much you, with that white roof, Congressman, you could hold your hand out like this, and just feel the heat reflecting back off that roof versus going into the building. And these are the type of energy efficiencies that we're going to have to look at as we move forward in our country to become the leader again. And these are the kind of jobs that really um, don't require a PhD. These are uh, people can take these jobs that were working on the line uh, in a manufacturing industry or working in the housing industry. They may already have some skills that are available to them, but there's an enormous enormous potential here. And the other pieces of legislation uh, provide for a tax credit to the homeowner uh, to uh, put in these systems. So we need to really move along on these kinds of things. Uh, I'm going to just